Hello and welcome, you Verd Dunces. Uh, we are happy to have you back for this championship game uh, between Pest Control and 1E, uh, two of the uh, very best uh, teams in the world. Pest Control with, uh, with of course, Zab, who has been um, a huge staple of this community for a little while. Um, but uh, Soren, tell us a little bit about those uh, those those other players on this team and the other one that are going to be able to now stick right with Zab, who has uh, uh, over and over again referenced as the really good guy in this tournament. Well, uh, earlier we were talking about the debates about who's the best player in the world and how Zab is pretty much uncontested. Well, if there's one player who can contest Zab for that best player in the world spot. Along with Zed, probably it is Ulti, the Finnish god, uh, the creator of the Venus. Uh, he's going to be playing for PC in this match, and, and he he is going to be a player to watch because he is a really good uh, a player, just just absolutely insane. It's definitely going to help PC in this match to have him on their team. Uh, I am noticing. Uh, uh, it looks like a couple of players uh, was was Vectrix uh, with one E yesterday. Uh, yes, he was with it. He was? One okay. He was. He's uh, I believe this is okay. the same lineup we saw yesterday from 1E. Uh, I don't see any uh, differences. Of course, we saw uh, we saw PC this morning um, in what ended up being a stomp of uh, Clan Cuck. Um, but this, this, these two teams uh, are not only going to be a uh, higher level, but also just much more close um, than maybe so, w what we've seen before. So we do have a few differences in the PC lineup from what we saw this morning. We do have uh, Ulti coming in in place of Nord Manen, who's going to be sitting on the bench, as well as we have Nazakur coming in in place of Posh Brother. So uh, this is going to be interesting to see uh, how those players do. Uh, Nazakur, definitely a very strong player. He was on the team that won the uh, the tournament last year, the Verdun Community Tournament. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how he plays uh, today. He is a player who doesn't have a lot of time to practice. He's got a family and all that stuff, but still a very good player um, who's, who's maintained his skill over the years. So it'll be interesting to see how he plays in this tournament. <clears throat> uh, we've got, uh, we've also got Zed on this side, um, a player that uh, uh, used to be a teammate of, of Zab, um, an emperor, uh, another guy who's a staple in this community. What, uh, what skills specifically do they bring to this, uh, do they bring to this competition that might not be seen anywhere else? <laughs> well, both uh, Zed and Emperor have traditionally been pickers, but with this new roster, new, new 1E roster, we've kind of seen Emperor take a little bit more of an aggressive role in the team, letting players like It Can't Be or Vetrix take that, that picker role now that the team is a little bit more stacked. So it'll be interesting to see if he continues to do that or, or, or if they fall on hard times, will Emperor revert back to his picker role? It'll be interesting to see how that goes, uh, or, or will he continue to be uh, successful in that sort of more aggressive role? Um, other players to keep an eye on are players like MJ, who can be a very effective, aggressive player. It can't be, can be a good pick picker. Filtrated Bread, a very, a very strategically minded player. You might be seeing some good flanks from him. Also, also just a good long range picker as well. Um, I mean, this is there's not a bad player on the server right now. I mean, the, all the players on this server are, are top of the line Verdun players who've been playing the game for years, or or just have a ridiculous amount of talent.